Charles Oliveira is the new champion at lightweight. I don't think I don't think if you told me that like a year or two ago, I necessarily would have would have believed that. But he's a champion, and and rightfully so. I believe he he deserved the opportunity. He won the fight fair and square, and he did did what many people didn't think he would be able to do. Um, now, what happens next? Does he fight? Um, does he fight the winner of of Connor versus Dustin? Does he wait for Justin Gaethje? What happens next? Now, uh, there's there's a couple of things that come into mind. Now, as a MMA fan, I have conflicting feelings about Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is the biggest MMA fighter of all time. He has the most draw, but unfortunately, he doesn't have uh, the, the best winning streak right now. He's coming off a loss from Dustin Poirier, where Dustin kind of... Not dominated, but kind of outclass Connor in that matchup. Now, discussion will will come up um, after and during the Connor versus Dustin two fight. Who gets the title uh, the uh, the title shot next? If Dustin goes in there and he beats Connor McGregor, of course, Dustin versus Charles Oliveira. But now, what if Connor goes in there and he beats Dustin Poirier? He's two and two and one against Dustin Poirier. What is to say, uh, Dustin? Um, what is to say, Conor McGregor doesn't deserve a shot against Charles Oliveira? Now, there's a lot to say about that. Conor doesn't necessarily deserve the the f- matchup against Charles Oliveira for many reasons. So one of the reasons is, well, you have a terrible record at lightweight. Yes, but a fighter is kind of more than just one division, especially. In, in today's time where you have these guys jumping up and down in, in divisions. You kind of saw that with Dustin, uh, with uh, Donald Cerrone back when he uh, initially went from 155 to 170. So, um, yes, he was going from 155 to 170, but he kind of maintained a high welterweight ranking. Why? Because what he did in the past, yes, is in, is in a different division, but it also has to be taken into account. Um that being said, I personally wouldn't necessarily be opposed to Conor McGregor getting that that matchup against Charles Oliveira. But the question is, what happens with Justin Gaethje? Justin Gaethje is out there floating. And it doesn't seem like him or his manager have any urgency to to get a matchup um, at the against these lightweight contenders. Now, maybe, maybe, I don't know. What's in Ali Abdulaziz's uh, in, in his in his in his sleeve? But he might try to make a matchup between himself, uh, Justin Gaethje, and Charles Oliveira, uh, and might end up getting somebody like Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Now, why do I say that? Well, if you have Dustin win his matchup against Conor McGregor, it's kind of clear that you have to make Dustin versus Charles Oliveira. Dustin has done so much to deserve that title shot. He, 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 in my opinion, should already have the title. Not not to discredit Charles Oliveira, but Dustin has done much more um, against higher level competition to deserve or to warrant being given that title. Now, Dustin had an opportunity to to fight for the title, but he turned it down for what? For a rematch against Conor McGregor. Now, that might be for multiple reasons. That might have be, been because he wants a bigger payday. Uh, that might be because he wants more exposure. Or that might be because um, he is confident that no matter who it is, he's going to beat them. And that includes Conor McGregor and whoever the champion is going to be between Michael Chandler and Charles Oliveira. So if you as an as a MMA fighter, it, that, that is Dustin Poirier, are confident, then there, there's no issue. There's no issue here. He's going to go in... Uh, in his mind, he's going to go and beat Conor McGregor and then face Charles Oliveira. Now, there's a lot of emerging stars at 155. You have Benil Dariush making a push. Maybe you do Benil Dariush versus um, Conor McGregor. Uh, eh, I, don't, I don't know about that one, actually. You do Benil Dariush versus Justin Gaethje. But it all comes back to what is Justin Gaethje going to decide? Is he going to hold out for a title shot? I don't know. I don't know if UFC gives him that, right? He just, the last fight he had was against 
uh, Khabib and he lost convincingly. So um, regardless, this, this is not about <laughs> Justin Gaethje. This is about what's next for Charles Oliveira. I feel they're going to wait for July, see what happens. Um, if Dustin wins, good. We have a nice, nice clean matchup. We, we have that fight. If Dustin loses, I don't know. I don't know. This might be, it might be Brazil versus Ireland all over again. And, and I don't know if Carter loses. I don't know if Carter loses. 